Hey, do you love a magic? When you were a child, were you interested to see a real magic? Well, this time you will have an amazing opportunity to be even a part of the magical show. That will be on 10th and 11th of May in Arena Riga Concert Hall in Riga, Latvia. The Illusionist, direct from the Broadway. This time they have a round trip to Austria, Bulgaria, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden and of course Latvia. So today, one of the greatest illusionists of all time, Luis de Matos, gave an exclusive interview to the Mob Mac. So watch it. Hello Luis, it's Hello. really nice to meet you here in Riga, in Latvia. As I know you said, you're, it's the first time here, right? Yes. So how do you like the city? What have you already seen so far here? Well, the only, th the only thing I saw so far was uh, from the airport to the hotel where we are staying. <laughs> and uh, so I haven't seen much, but I saw enough uh, to love it. I mean, first of all, I love to hear you speaking. I, I love the sound of the language. I don't understand a single word but uh, it's really nice to hear and and then I really like the look of the city it's all very flat but all very full of personality and really really nice well, we've seen like I've looked to your biography uh -huh. like okay. to, to get to know okay. you more <laughs> and I've seen that it's written there that you have graduated a Scola Superior Agraria de yeah. Coimbra University exactly, right exactly. in the field of agriculture technical engineering yes. so I was really surprised how did yes. it turn <laughs> that you became a magician like what were your first well, steps to become <laughs> first first of all i must say that your pronunciation is superb of school uh, superior de agraria de coimbra i was trying <laughs> yeah, that's great uh, so that's the first thing the second thing is um i i always have been studying and having magic as a hobby and when you are very young it's not a good idea to tell your parents that you want to be a magician when you grow up so for them it's like not serious yeah, thing no. right so Kids, if you are watching this and if you want to be a magician, do not tell your parents. I'll tell you the trick how to do it. It's very simple. So listen. They, yeah, they, they, they wanted me to study. And if I study, they will be fine with my, the way I use my time with my hobbies. So that's what happened. Uh, I was always a good student, not because I thought it was important, but because um, if I have good grades, they will allow me to do my magic. Um, so that was the, the, what happened. I, I lived in Coimbra by myself since I was 15 and then I continued studying and studying and I finished university and uh, I was even invited to stay there working at university uh, on micropropagation in vitro of a special flower known as uh, bird of paradise the scientific name is Strelitzia regina but that's not important. But were you a good student? I was a good student uh, and that's why they, they invite me to stay there. I was one of the two that that year became part of uh, the Ministry of Education. I was I was a, a normal employee of the state. So uh, maybe like the world of engineering just lost, you know, maybe. professional in your face. Like. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I, there was one time I was doing TV series at the same time and there was a moment where I needed to choose. Uh, do I continue my show business career or do I continue my my academic career and uh, I decided to choose the one that would allow me to go for the other one in case I want to change my mind and uh, if I wanted to if I decided to continue the, the academic career eh, I could not become uh, an entertainer 20 years later but by choosing being an entertainer if um, I stop having pleasure in what I do I can still go back to the academic career I guess many of uh, like our audience, like people in our audience, will be really interested. Um, what kind of books should they read? How they should uh, teach themselves to become okay. magicians? Well, the, uh, it's a very interesting question, and uh, I believe uh, some years ago I realized that uh, the information out there is not very good. Uh, there are many times there are a seven-year-old kid doing a trick and explaining how to do that trick which that's okay that's cute but other seven-year-old kids they might see that video on YouTube and they go they think that's how you should do and it's not so uh, what I've done is together with another with some other friends and uh, with many magicians around the world we decided to create it something that uh, people can actually look up uh, which was uh, done in my studio in Portugal called essential sorry called essential magic conference 
And the Session Magic Conference was uh, the best magicians from around the world. They would gather at my place and we would, uh, we would share lots of secrets. We did this three years in a row, live for 74 countries. And we believe that we changed a little bit uh, the generation that was in touch with us. And after that, there's also another thing we have created, which every time I can, I, I challenge big masters of magic to uh, publish their material and uh, and the audience can access that material uh, through another uh, website called Essential Magic Collection and uh, this is a way of actually learning from the masters and learning from the people that uh, have done it and have great joy in teaching and sharing secrets. Uh, could you please tell more about one of your biggest projects, the Studio 33? Well, Studio 33 is the consequence of the fact that uh, uh, for 23 years now I have been working with uh, uh, the same team. Usually an artist uh, has um, an agent and a manager. I never had an agent or a manager, but I have a team that works every day for 23 years and every day we develop new material, every day we work, we build, we construct, we get frustrated, we try, we fail, we succeed and it's the team with whom I do, uh, whether it is a big uh, inauguration, opening of a stadium like I did uh, of Porto Football Club or a smaller show, a uh, corporate event or a magic festival um, So, and they are on tour with me as well when, when we come to Riga with the illusionists. And uh you're also producing a series of uh, street uh, magic festivals. How did you come up with that idea to gather such you know, great performance, performers uh, from all over the world? And what were the maybe hardest things that you were facing during the past of creating that? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for being so well informed. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I believe that um, some people never saw a magic show. And when you ask them, oh, do you like magic? They say, oh, I don't like very magic very much. And then you ask them, uh, have you ever seen a magic show? And they, and they actually go, uh, no, I never saw it. Well, that's the reason why they don't like it, because they think that magic is, is something very old and they are all the same. They are all magicians produce produce rabbits from top hats and, and they do tricks with silks and playing cards and it's not like that I mean nowadays there is an incredible uh, magic in a, being performed and created in, in an incredibly contemporary way um, so it's impossible that people do not like magic what might happen is like saying that uh, I don't like music you, you might not have heard music you like or you might like a specific style um, but no in general you must love magic for a simple reason because magic makes reality what is impossible and you can see it with your own eyes very very close and um, I believe that if there are more magic shows whether they are in the street in the theater in the Riga arena on TV everywhere the audience will be exposed to different kinds of magic and by being exposed to different kinds of magic they will they will see and learn about all the styles all the, the different ways of challenging the ability to dream and and uh, uh, energizing our uh, native as human beings ability to be wondered to, to wonder about to be uh, uh, our sense of wonder yes and be amazed correct some kind of the way of people perception right yes. it depends on that yeah. I think uh, what magicians do we manipulate the perception in order for people to um, uh, have the, the clear feeling that what they are do it's happening no what we do we use tricks to create illusions and then the spectator he can transform those illusions in real magic whenever they come and see the show could you tell more about this illusionist show that uh, will be in May in Riga? Because that's one of the amazing show I guess that many people are waiting for it to see. So could you tell yes. what will be there? Like what should we expect? Well, uh, first of all, you will see a grand illusion show. It's a it's a, a, a fantastic production. It's a production that has been on the road with me on this version for five years now. We have been everywhere in the world um, and uh, we have done from Sydney Opera House in, in, in Australia to Auditorio Nacional in Mexico to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, uh, Moscow, um, 
London. Take me with you, please. I would. I also would like to travel. <laughs> so, so this the, the reason why this show is so special. It's because we are on stage seven magicians. Well, each of these magicians, you could go and see our own show. Uh, the, the full evening show of Magician 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, different seven styles. different ones, different styles, completely different styles. But if you come to see the illusionists at the Riga Arena on the 10 and 11 of May, what you see is in the same evening, you get the best from these seven. So it's an ensemble show with beautiful original music, with a fantastic set design, um, and it was it was uh, it's a show that has the best of the best and was created to not be forgotten. So so uh, please give us the benefit of the doubt and uh, and come see us at the Riga Arena. You won't regret it. I think that if you like magic, you will love this show. And, the, and if you don't like magic, uh, you, you should come as well, because we will change that opinion. You will start loving magic after this show. I guess people will do that. Uh, could you also tell more about your personal style? Like, what is more, like, what are you more emphasizing in? Well, uh, I like to do uh, magic with normal objects. That's one of the things. I like to do magic that uh, is not formatted. So uh, when I create a new uh, illusion, I don't, uh, I don't follow rules. I create what the inspiration gives me. I, I look around. I, I hear music. I see movies. I talk to people. I, 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 I understand what are the dreams of. The audience and I try to somehow reinterpret those dreams or those criticisms or those opinions uh, and in a way take that inspiration and, and reinterpret that inspiration in the world of illusion. So myself I don't know what what are the characteristics of my job. I'm sure that people that know my my many of my creations they can start finding the connection and they somehow they can say oh I understand what is his style I like to do it uh, I like to communicate so I like to do it with the uh, audience participation for instance in this show in the illusionist there is one moment where I make the magic happen not on stage but in the hands of every spectator in the audience. And the way it works is, as the audience arrives at the Riga, uh, Riga Arena... Will they get money? Uh, not money, <laughs> but they'll get an envelope. They'll get an envelope with... With money. <laughs> Not money, but something more valuable. They'll get an envelope with some things, some mysterious things inside. And there's one moment in the show where I ask them to open and, and, they, and they manipulate those things. They swap them among people they never saw before. They throw them in the air. They make choices and still uh, something unexplainable will happen in their hands. Uh, that's one of the things I do. Another thing I do, I, I, I make appear uh, 800 fish for example uh, so I try to do things in a different way but I guess that's that's common to all of us uh, all of us in the show these seven uh, illusionists first of all they come from the four corners of the world uh, it's the world champion that comes from South Korea it's the inventor that comes from the United States um, it's uh, the uh, escapologist that comes from Italy it's uh, the deceptionist that comes from uh, 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 the United Kingdom anyway we are seven different styles and each of us are not only different from each other but uh, uh, there's a reason that we were invited to be on this ensemble it's because there's something about what each of us do, do that is unique and somehow all together will allow the audience to have uh, an unforgettable evening full of magic and 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 the show that they will not forget that's what I believe thank you you said that you're doing magic with objects right mm -hmm. and I see this thing on your, yes. your jacket, do you, can you do something with that? Well, uh, with this one, with this I cannot because for a single reason, because uh, I, I always say when I when I talk to people and journalists back in Portugal, my own country, where I where I have my TV series and live shows, I don't hold secrets. Uh, I can talk about everything, and I'm very sincere about uh, about what I say. There is only one secret. And that's that. C can I see that? Yeah, can I touch it? Yeah, of course. It's it actually a, really looks it's nice. A, it's a collection. Monarchs. And, uh, and the collection is of uh, uh, playing cards that I collect um, from around the world. Uh, wherever I go, I collect cards. Um, 
but I don't I don't collect the entire deck. I collect one card from this game or one card from this show. One, or, yes, or one card uh, that was specially relevant for me in a certain moment. And so everywhere I travel, I, I try to I try to collect. Uh, this from Latvia also would like to I take some. Yet, right? But I, I, I I'm I'm go I'm stealing cards in Latvia. I'm sure. <laughs> um, so this one was in Vegas. This one was uh, in Moscow. Um, this is Portugal, of course. Uh, this is American Army. They they play a lot of cards there. Uh, this is a marked deck. This is used by a magician, and by looking there, I can see it's the six of hearts. But it's hard to see. But anyway, so uh, the last uh, the last card I, I took was this one. This was the last one I, I stole. Not only this, but I stole another one, which I yeah no not leave it yeah yeah which it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the city it's just uh, I, I the reason sometimes I, I steal it because of the face and I, I really like the the face of the king uh, both the king of um, uh, hearts and the king of diamonds and uh, what I but I have I mean many 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 I would like to do something with these these last two cards that I stole and I would I would need your uh, help so I'm going to put cards on the table like this and you can see the different ones. Some sometimes the 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 the, the backs are not very interesting. Uh, sometimes I concentrate on the faces. Uh, but anyway, you can tell me stop uh, whenever you want. Can I close my eyes and say no, stop? No. Yeah, anytime, <laughs> anytime. It's it's your call. Stop. You here? Okay. So I'm going to mark the place where you said stop by putting this last card. Okay. So I'm putting there. Correct. You said stop exactly where you want. Correct. Okay. So we'll do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass cards, and you you will call stop in another place. So we pick these two places at random. All your choice. Tell me stop whenever you want. Stop. Here. Uh, there. On the next one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So after the six of diamonds. Okay. Good. So I put this card here, and again I mark the place. Now you would agree with me that. Uh, I did not influence you. You could stop wherever you want. Sure. Yeah, I, I even there was one moment where I said, "Oh, here," and he said, "No, no, no, not there." I one was more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. So, because it's very important that you have, you are absolutely sure that you stop wherever you want. Correct. Correct. So let's see exactly where are the cards, um, and so let's see, let's find them. Okay, here is one. This was the the um, King of Hearts and. Uh, this was the other one where you asked me to stop, which is the King of Diamonds. Well, let's see exactly uh, what's the card that is exactly next to this one. In this case, yes, it's this one. Okay. And when you asked me, you could have stopped anywhere, but you stopped exactly next to a card that has a connection. See, look, you could have stopped anywhere, but there's a... A little bit of a coincidence here, you would agree, right? Maybe not very obvious, but there is a coincidence because there's nothing like this uh, anywhere else in the deck. But that's not the only coincidence I can see here. Uh, I can see another coincidence. I can see, for example, that uh, you stopped exactly uh, on a card that has a back that is very similar. And this is a coincidence, right? Maybe maybe we have the same thing here. Yes, that's a big coincidence. You are very good. Uh, but if we want, we can continue looking for coincidence. And for instance, let's see here if we find another coincidence here. Yes, there's another coincidence. And here, maybe, 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 maybe. Yes, that's another coincidence. And even I am surprised. Very, very surprised. I tell you why. Because... I have a rule for the cards I collect uh, and and somehow this is not a, according to the rules because I must confess it every time I steal cards I always steal only the ace of spades so every card is actually the ace of spades except the ones that you decide to stop at and this is really special it's really amazing but this is nothing. You should come and see the illusionists in May 10 and 11 at the Riga Arena. That's the most important. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was Thank you. that was wonderful. Thank but I would like so to much. see something else. But <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a big pleasure, and I hope to see you as well in uh, in May. For sure, we will be there. Thank, Thank you. you.